hi guys welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how we can pull multiple stock from your finance to our excel sheet so and later we can also update based on our requirement we'll use couple of stocks like apple stock uh, whose ticker is aapl we need this thing we can easily search the ticker of particular stock from yahoo finance website okay you have to go finance.yahoo.com and then in the search bar you can search multiple stock so here is one uh, stock uh, the ticker is aapl for apple stock and if you go here there are a couple of other stock like google amazon facebook some other thing okay so let's get started so before going to start uh, the main video uh, i would request you if you are new to our channel or still if you didn't subscribe please subscribe to our channel now let's get started at first open excel so click on the start menu of your windows computer and then type excel and you will see the excel is there just click there and excel will be opened shortly and now choose a blank workbook okay so i'm going to click here and then it will open the excel thing okay and there will be on or book and or sheet so now what we have to do we have to build some portfolio related stuff like there will be multiple stock okay so let's getting get started with this stock first uh, this is apple stock uh, right now i opened and this is uh, the ticker of apple stock is aapl okay so now let's come here and then type aapl okay so once you type hit enter key and then apple will be there right so we want to build on uh, like table table like uh, type of uh, thing right so like apple then the uh, to, now current price like what will be the highest price of today what will be the lowest price like this way we want to do so let's build a table first so suppose uh, apl we can say that uh, company name okay and then we can pull the information of price so we can type price for today's low price we can type today's low like this way today's low and then today's high okay so in this way you can build the table okay so let's do one thing let's create uh, this thing as a table so that it will be easier uh, later like if you want to add another stock it will be easier uh, so we don't need to do it this again and again okay so let's do it so i'm going to select the header and the row which you have data for example and then go to insert and from insert uh, there will be table so we just need to select it and then it will give us this type of information like from where to where so right now i will choose everything dynamically so i'm choosing like this way and then click my table has header because we have header right so then once you checked uh, this thing then click ok and it will be like this way ok so now let's uh, pull the price of apple from your finance ok so it's very simple we don't need this thing actually uh, this your finance we actually used it to find the ticker name ok and rest of the stuff we will do with uh, like microsoft excel that's enough for us ok so now what we have to do we have to select this thing and then we have to go data tab first we need to select the company and then we have to click data tab and the data tab will be like this way okay and inside the data tab there is on particular part of this ribbon you will find that data types and over there there is stocks so what we have to do we have to click this stock and once you click there then it will try to pull the data from some financial company okay now here you will see that there are different types of data are there like apple inc apple inc and here you will find that stock nasdaq then some other stock exchange so in this way uh, there are couples so we have to choose from which uh, broker or a stock market i want to pull the data so suppose i want to pull the data from nasdaq okay so i'm going to click nasdaq and then it will give all of this information and then finally click on select and you will see the change here okay here you will see that uh, there is a like this type of a stock symbol is there and then it expanded with detail so if we double click then it will automatically expand okay you can do on two ways you can drag in this way or you can just double click it will automatically adjust okay so now we see that apple uh, and this is a ticker aapl which we actually typed at the beginning okay from your finance right from this your finance we took this thing okay and then 
uh, this stocks actually uh, using this Excel uh, by clicking there we automatically pull everything it uh, tagged with Nasdaq okay now we need to put the price so how can we do so what we have to do we have to select this thing and then there will be like this type of thing just click there at column and then here you will find then there is on particular uh, field like price if you click here then the price will be there okay but it is coming there it's not coming there right so how can we do this thing so to uh, put this price here what we have to do we have to select the cell and then after that what we have to do we have to click price right but no it's going this way so what we have to do we have to fix this thing so what we can do we can actually delete everything uh, from here right click and then delete okay now also we can also delete this thing but here what we have to do we have to click here and then click on price again it is coming okay so what you have to do we have to delete entire column so i'm going to delete delete okay now what you will do i will select this thing and then click this plus like thing add column and just click there and then choose price from there and it will be next line okay so this is right uh, the price right now so if we try to check uh, we'll see the price is similar like this okay because it is continuous updating uh, but i didn't update right now that's why uh, there is a chance a little bit chance okay so now let's come uh, to other things suppose we want to check the price of to just open price so what we have to do we have to select this thing and then there is a plus uh, there is a small icon just click there and choose from there to this opening price for example this is the opening price just click there and it will show you the opening price now check the price so this is 289.98 okay so here you see 289.96 there is a few cents different because this is Yahoo Finance they are following some uh, exchange and this is some other company it is coming from Nasdaq right directly so the price a little bit varies but uh, the price is almost same okay so this is price this is opening price we can also change uh, the header name by double click and then or you can go here opening price opening price okay then it will change the header and then you can expand in this way okay now we want to put the uh, to this high price okay so uh, we can do one thing we can select any of the cell and then from this icon again it will appear just click there and then uh, look for the high price there will be some field like this type of thing where you will find high so here we are seeing this is high just click there and the high price up to this it will be appeared there then let's uh, try to figure out like low price of to this this is stock so click there and then choose the low from here so we are seeing low is there just put it okay now it is showing so this is the opening price this is the high price and this is low price and if you try to compare with Yahoo Finance it will be similar now let's check the high price and low price of today's Apple price so this is the high price 293.32 so if we go to this range we are seeing that the high is 293.32 it's exactly matched and then low price is 288.36 288.36 so it's matched only uh, this price and this opening price some something differs okay it based on the brokers i told you okay so now uh, we are able to uh, pull all the data similarly if you need other information you can actually select any of the cell uh, from this apple and then click there and then you can choose anything or whatever you wish suppose you want to see uh, the change we can also do this and it will give us the change of this price okay so in this way we can do this but we don't need this i'm going to delete but if you wish you can do that delete now let's come to next scenario so we are able to pull the stock data of apple company suppose we want to pull data for other company like amazon okay so the ticker for amazon amzn okay if you search here you will find or if you google it you can easily find okay then this is the ticker so we need this information amzn and then come to this excel and then just type amzn over there amzn and then hit enter key and see the magic so here it is showing that this field is not actually working right because amz it is not it is unable to figure out that whether this is amazon stock or not so what we have to do we have to select it and then we have to click this stock only once and then just wait for a few seconds and you will see that some values are updating what we can do we can just select all the cell and then double click on top of it uh, right right side 
or anywhere then it will actually expand all the cells it will fit okay now we are seeing that it is able to pull the data and if you try to check you can also check so here 2437 so this price this price varies uh, i told you this is updating continuously okay and then if you check the two days range you will find similar data okay now let's pull some other stock like google like google g double g the uh, ticker for google is g o o z and then just type the ticker here g o o g okay so google is there so now see uh, excel is actually now matching all the things automatically okay so from uh, after doing the second cell you don't need to do it like click 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 no way it will do automatically now let me pull some other stock like microsoft so this is microsoft corporation and the ticker is msft okay just click here and then type msft and hit enter key and it will pull all the data now similarly in this way if you want to open uh, if you want to drag the values i mean all the price information of netflix then you will see netflix is there netflix just type, click here and uh, see the ticker nflx okay so we have to type nflx and then hit enter key so in this way you can also do let me pull other on stock like uh, facebook so the facebook is like f if you press f it will show you and then you can see this is the facebook just click there and the facebook stock will be there so this is the ticker now let's come to the excel and then type fb and hit enter key okay now see so in this way actually we can easily pull all the stock data so now we don't need to do anything uh, like click their stock it will automatically pop up everything okay all the data but i told you before doing this what you have to do you have to click uh, the insert and you have to convert it as a table okay if you don't do then you have to do it manually everything so guys i think uh, if you don't still uh, able to do this thing just uh, go back to the starting of the video and follow the all the steps it will work in this way we can easily create our portfolio based on the record stock which we actually need and we can add as much as possible and finally once we did this how we can refresh to refresh this thing we can easily do we don't need to update everything manually so what we have to do we have to choose any of the ticker any of the ticker only and then once we choose the ticker right click and then we will find this refresh button just click there and it will refresh everything okay but if we choose any of this cell it will not refresh so for example if i choose this thing it will not refresh see refresh is disabled so to refresh any of this thing what we have to do we have to uh, select any of the ticker any of the it's not mandatory that you have to choose this one or this one it doesn't matter okay just select anywhere and right click and click on refresh and the price data will be loaded so let me show you whether it is updating or not so i'm going to open snipping tool on my computer and i'm going to take a screen uh, capture of this part only okay because we want to verify whether it is updating or not so this part we just captured right uh, this is the price which the excel has right now okay now what i will do i will check whether uh, this value is updating or not okay so i'm coming my excel sheet okay and what i told you previously that we need to choose any of the ticker once you choose any of the ticker what we have to do we have to right click and then what we have to do we have to click on refresh button so if you click refresh button the data will be updated now let's check the captured value and the updated value to just to compare uh, right now 291.93 is 90 cents so it's different right everything changed now so in this way actually using excel you can uh, update your stock data or you can also monitor your portfolio or you can build your portfolio hopefully by watching this video you are able to use excel uh, to pull live data on your excel sheet and then you can analyze later based on your requirement that's all for this video if you feel this video is useful and helpful for you just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching if you have any question please put in the comment section see you on the next video